Good morning. Got an early start to the morning. Um, it might be a drive through coffee kind of day. I'm running pretty late right now. How may I take it? Yes, good morning. Could I have a large dark roast two milk? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it? Yes. Have a good day. You too. Take care. Thank you. Um, I had a hard time waking up this morning. But let's talk about a few things that sold while I slept overnight. First thing is this Charlie Pride um, 8-track tape. Fortunately, I believe he recently passed away from COVID-19. I don't sell things based on people passing away or not. Um, I've had this up for a while and that sold. So that sold for 10 bucks. This one's really cool. This is a Whalen Jennings 8-track uh, tape. This one got banned. It was only released in Canada. I believe it sold for $40. I could be wrong, but I think it was like $40. But the reason why they banned it is, look at his face. Look at his eyes are like rolled right back. Um, yeah, I guess apparently he was so hammed in this photo <laughs> from all the drugs and alcohol that they, um, they're like, we can't release this cover. This looks horrible. We gotta put another one on. And they did, so not a whole lot of copies of that. Um, the next is this, Mickey Mouse, I don't know, Fantasia sealed CD and box set. Um, I put extra wrapping on the outside just so it doesn't get wrecked. I bought this for, I would say pennies, pennies. And it sold for $40 overnight. So happy with that. There is a 1999 Guinness rugby t-shirt. This I picked up for about I think three dollars in a larger lot and it sold for 18 bucks so not a huge profit on that one but i'll take it for overnight while i'm sleeping definitely the cd holder i don't know you you all probably remember these things um i know i had a lot of them for all my cds most of which i've donated by now um i picked this up for $1.99 and it sold for 24 dollars so these always sell really well they do and the last thing that sold overnight i've got this photography paper from the 1970s um from kodak eastman kodak i think i paid about 2.99 for all this paper and it sold overnight for 75 bucks plus shipping so can't complain about that either so those are my solds overnight. Uh, that would be in the four or five hours that I slept. I'm gonna pack this stuff up off camera. I got all those items bundled up. Sorry I couldn't take you guys, but uh, I had to get it done quick. Don't fall. We got it there. Put that down for a second. So when it comes to heavier items like this paper, this paper weighed in at eight pounds i recommend that you guys when you're shipping whether it's for business or even just personal if you're shipping within north america and you don't want to pay these huge usps rates because on this it was like 50 something dollars um leaving canada mind you uh, leaving Canada. So I recommend you use pirate ship or secure ship. That's a little Easter egg for everyone out there. If you're shipping heavy items, take a look at pirate ship, or if you're in Canada, secure ship, they will give you really, really low rates. So my rates on that's going to be like, I don't know, 22 bucks as opposed to like 50 something. So that's an extra $30 in my pocket. And I basically have to do the same thing, which is printing the shipping label. So Canada, secure ship.ca the u.s pirate ship you'll get better rates than usps often 50 to 60 percent lower on heavy items so i'll tell you a quick story i had a friend of mine pass away on uh, new year's day from cancer god rest her soul um but you know it got me thinking about my work life too <sighs> You know, we all have responsibilities and people we have to look out for and pay for. But honestly, if 
if your job is making you so miserable, and I don't know what everyone's situation is, there are people on here that love their job. If your job is making you so, so miserable, you know what? It doesn't matter how much they pay you. It, it almost, if it's destroying you and tearing you apart, you know, you're no good to anyone. You're, you're just grinding down. It just brings you to a really bad place and you'll get to yourself to the point that there's no getting out. So that's why I think it's important. You, if you want to do something, you got to do it. You got to at least try. I mean, you owe it to yourself. Um, you're no good to anyone getting ground down, honestly, and you're no good to yourself. I've been down there. Um, I'm about to leave a very, very, very high paying job because I hate it. Um, but you know what? I'll do another video on that. Let's leave that for another day. Anyway, have a great day. Keep grinding. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you like these kinds of videos. If you do, I'll just keep grinding them. We'll just keep going. Let's just keep grinding. Let's keep going. Have a great day.